All right, thanks for watching. And today I will do a very beautiful integral with an unexpected answer. And this integral is very useful in a video I will do or may already have done on what's called the Vardy integral. And so let's see what that integral is. So step one. That integral, first of all, good luck integrating by parts. It, I don't think it will help you much. But first of all, we want to get rid of this e to the minus x because it turns out it's easier to deal with powers of x instead of e to the minus x because ln of x works very well with powers. So one thing so e to the minus x right remember that's equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 minus x over n to the n and now using one of those factors of 1 minus x over n doesn't really matter so it's really the same as this limit and if you'd like think of it as follows limit n goes to infinity of this product but as n goes to infinity, this one term goes to one. So it doesn't matter. So, particularly you have this. e to the minus x equals to the limit as n goes to infinity of one minus x over n to the n minus one. Second of all, this integral, it's really the integral from zero to a very big number, which Without loss of generality, you can assume it's equal to n. So it's limit n goes to infinity from 0 to n of 1 minus x over n, n minus 1, ln of x, dx. If you know analysis, you can do it using the dominated convergence theorem and also a, a, probably a diagonal argument because you have two different factors here into play. So... It is true that this integral equals to that, at least formally. And the reason this is nice is now we can just use a u substitution. So let u be 1 minus x over n. So step two already. Let u be 1 minus x over n. Then du is minus 1 over n dx. So dx is minus n du. So the integral from 0 to n of 1 minus x over n to the n minus 1 ln of x dx then just becomes the integral from what to what? Well, if x is 0, u is 1. And if x is n, u is 0. So this of u to the n minus 1 ln of, so what is x? x over n is 1 minus u, so x is n times 1 minus u. And lastly, we have this factor of minus n du. And this factor of minus 1, it's good because it rectifies the order of the integral. So it's equal to n times integral from 0 to 1, u to the n minus 1, ln of n, times 1 minus u du. And now you're like, oh my god, Payam, I really want to expand out this ln. Well, turns out you can here. And in fact, let's do this. So this equals to n, uh, sorry, n ln of n times integral from 0 to 1 of uh, u to the n minus 1 plus n integral from 0 to 1 u to the n minus 1 ln of 1 minus u du. Here I just use that you know ln of n times 1 minus u is ln of n plus ln of 1 minus u. And the nice thing is this one we can evaluate directly. So an antiderivative is u to the n over n. So n, ln of n. Let's see, u to the n over n from 0 to 1 plus n times 
the integral from 0 to 1, u to the n minus 1. And this is just a power, one of the power series that's very useful. So it's equal to the sum, let's say from k, from 1 to infinity, of u to the k over k. So if you live in the United Kingdom, that's for you, uk. Um, and not, there's no minus 1 to the n minus 1 because we're just doing 1 minus u. So this is, I think, correct. And let's see. Let's continue. So m ln of n. So 1 over n minus 0 to the n. So that's fine. ln of n. And then, well, as usual, let's just Fubini that and assume that we can interchange the sum and the integral. So it equals to... Um, Sorry, there must, I think there's some minus sign here, probably from the power series here. Okay, so minus n, and then integral from 0 to 1, sum from k from 1 to infinity of this thing, so u to the n minus 1. So if you want k plus n minus 1 over k du, I haven't interchanged the sum yet, sorry. Let's interchange it now. So it equals to ln of n okay, minus n. So sum from k from 1 to infinity of the integral from 0 to 1, u to the k plus n minus 1 over k du. And notice what's an antiderivative of u to the k plus n minus 1. It's u to the k plus n over k plus n. So that's just equals to ln of n minus n and the sum from k from 1 to infinity of, we still have the factor of 1 over k, but we also have the factor of k plus n. And all we need to do is to evaluate this sum and it turns out it's one of those telescoping sums. So this 1 over k over k plus n, that's just equals to ln of n minus sum from k from 1 to infinity of 1 over k minus 1 over n plus k. And as promised, so if you do a partial fraction decomposition, you'll find that this equals this. And if you want to write down the sum, it's 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 plus 1 half minus 1 over n plus 2 plus 1 third minus 1 over n plus 3 plus dot 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 plus 1 over n minus 1 over 2n, if you want, plus... 1 over n plus 1, uh, plus 1 over 2n plus 1, dot, dot, dot. And notice, starting from this term, stuff starts to cancel out. So bang, 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 you know, uh, bang, bang, <laughs> etc., etc. So you just left with the sum of 1 over k from 1 to n. So that's ln of n minus sum of k from 1 to n of 1 over k. All right, so this gives us this integral here. Integral from 0 to n of 1 minus x over n to the n minus 1 ln of x dx. Now, to get our original integral, we just need to let n, at n go to infinity. So step 3, what is our answer? So the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus x ln of x, that's just equals the limit as n goes to infinity of ln of n minus the harmonic series, so the first n terms of the harmonic series. And here comes a beautiful fact. Well, of course this goes to infinity. The harmonic series also goes to infinity. But it turns out the difference goes to a finite constant, which is, in this case, minus the Euler-Mascheroni constant. So it equals, let's see, is it minus, uh, or 
plus, sorry, this has to be positive. Um, no, it equals the minus the Euler Mascheroni constant, which is minus gamma here. And therefore, the integral equals to minus gamma, where gamma is this finite constant with measures this minus this. All right, so who would have known that out of this integral, you get the Euler Mascheroni constant? pretty neat and it just uses a little bit of power series all right so i hope you enjoyed this integral and if you want to see more math please make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you very much